What is up comic creators? I'm gonna show you quickly here how to use animations and why you would use animations uh, versus like effects uh, for your video clips. But this right here is the Screaming Woman. Um, I wanna add some animations here to spice up this video. It's a great tool to use to spice up your videos and make them more uh, attentive, make the uh, viewer more engaged. So what I'm gonna do is click on this video, then I'm gonna click on the animation icon. Uh, and that's going to open up all my animations options. There's in and out, which happens at the beginning and end of the video. Um, like if you click it, uh, click one random one, it'll see you can only adjust it where it starts in the beginning and how long it lasts. But if you do combo, um, combo will allow you to add animations into your video clip and it can be anywhere in the video clip that you want it to be. It doesn't have to be at the beginning or, or end, it can be anywhere. So like if I click this wobble effect, um, as you can see, it's giving me a sample of what it looks like uh, in my uh, video clip. And then I use this bar down here and adjust where it begins and where it ends. Um, in the projects, so I'm going to slide both of those at certain points here and just kind of test it out. You can kind of see I have it starting now a little bit in the beginning to see how that looks. But uh, it's basically just getting it right where I wanted to actually engage in the project itself. And so uh, that's essentially what we're trying to do. And I think at this point I'm just kind of clicking through and and I'm just making sure that I want to see there's a lot of options here within uh, CapCut uh, so you you know you have plenty of opportunities here to click and add um, whatever kind of animation you want I've even seen a, in this combo section like a phone one where like you know it zooms out and it shows the person on a phone watching the video so it's pretty crazy so um, I think I'm gonna go with this bend zoom option here that kind of gives it the effect i'm looking for this kind of terror effect here and so i've got those i click check mark and now i can kind of see where it starts i think i wanted to add a little bit earlier for it to start so what i simply got to do to edit it is you click the project make sure it's clicked again click animation go back to the combo tab and see now i can adjust uh, when that animation actually starts click the check mark and now when you go in boom now you have her uh, in there now let's say you add your animation and you don't uh, like what you did um, in there uh, and you and you want to remove it so essentially what you have to do is when you click on the video clip again uh, you would go back into that uh, animation tab and make sure it's back in the combo so here I'll click this see now it's an in it already says none but if I go to combo and scroll over that's where you can click none and click check mark and remove uh, the animation I don't want to do that I like this so now what I can do is add in effects to the video project itself so this is why you want to use animation because you can do multiple different things and kind of layer all these effects at once uh, to make the video uh, uh, more engaging and, and add these uh, cool uh, moments so I'm gonna click effects I'm gonna click video effects uh, and when I do that um, you have all of these different uh, uh, sorry I said I click body effects by that so um, you have all these different uh, clips here that you can click on and do and so now I'm gonna add this in to um, to add another layer of action that's taking place within the video itself so see I like this one here um, so I'm gonna add you know I actually don't think I need to adjust it so I'm gonna click it click check mark now it's in the clip here and so now I've got these multiple layers of uh, things happening so I want this to add at a different spot here so I can just click and drag and have these uh, different kinds of effects taking place in the clip so you have um, all that different kind of stuff so that's the reason why you do animation uh, and then do effects afterwards because you can layer all these things on top of each other and make a really cool segment so I hope that this helped you out let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below and I will catch you guys in the next one thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please take the time to like comment and subscribe as it helps us to further please our YouTube overlords. Check out more links in the description for continued assistance on your CapCut projects, and please keep your arms and legs inside the craft until it comes to a complete stop. Be sure to mind your headspace and watch your step as you exit. Failure to comply may result in serious injury or death. We will see you next time, Comet Creators. End transmission.